Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to eat on a low carb diet. What can you eat on a low carb diet like keto diet or Atkins? So with the new year, if you're thinking about starting low carb or you're looking for some low carb meal ideas, what you can eat, I'm going to share loads of ideas in this video. And as always, I've written a full blog post, which I'll leave down below, which has all of the lists as well as meal ideas, recipes, photos, links to recipes, everything you need. So I'll leave that down below that you can pin, bookmark, save for when you want some low carb inspiration and make sure to subscribe for more yummy videos like this. Leave a like and a comment too. Let me know if you've got any tips for low carb diets. So first off, we're going to talk about what foods to avoid. So you may be aware of this or not aware when you're low carb, there's a whole lot of foods that are best to avoid it, which are super high carb. Now those include foods that have sugar and a lot of flour and pasta and biscuits and cookies and cupcakes. And even full cream milk is higher carb than almond milk or coconut milk, but you can still have full cream dairy, which we'll get to in a little bit. And it's also best to avoid starchy vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, peas, Corn and also beans and legumes are also off the table, too high carb if you're wanting to do a low carb diet. It's also best to steer clear of most alcohol uh, as well as gluten free products because just because it says gluten free, it doesn't mean it's low carb. There can be all kinds of sugars and carbs and everything else added into it as well as things that say fat free and low fat. There's gonna likely be sugars and sweeteners and other fillers added back in to increase the fat content. So now you know what to avoid, what about what you can eat? Well, there's eggs and all kinds of protein, beef, chicken, pork, fish, seafood, vegetables, most vegetables, just stay away from the starchy ones, and fruits, you're limited to berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and lemons and limes, and also tomatoes and avocados, if you count those as fruit, those are also allowed. With, with tomatoes, though, go also a little bit on the lower count because they are higher in carbs. With dairy, there's loads of choice, with cheese and cream cheese and cream and sour cream and mascarpone and feta and parmesan, all kinds of dairy, just not the milk. Everything else you can have and enjoy loads of on a low carb diet. And nuts and seeds, you're allowed, but just be mindful of the carb content. I enjoy chia seeds, they're lovely and rich in fiber, almonds, cashews, sunflower seeds, really any nuts and seeds can be included too. And coconut, all coconut products, coconut oil, milk, butter, cream, all kinds of coconut products are also high in fat, low in carbs, and just so good for you. And finally, healthy fats. Butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil, include them really generously on a low carb diet. And now how about actual meals? How do you make up meals that are low carb friendly? Well, I've shared loads. I've got years of videos on my channel, so check back through all of the videos because you'll get loads of ideas. But some of my favorites lately have included pizza omelette. I love this for breakfast. It's so much fun. You pop some tomato pasta sauce into an omelette with some cheese and some oregano, any other pizza toppings of choice, fold it over and you've got a pizza omelette for breakfast. I've been loving it lately and it's so much fun to make and enjoy too. And a breakfast fry up of all descriptions. Sometimes I'll have various vegetables, maybe sausages or halloumi, um, whatever you like for breakfast. Or I might make a big green shikshuka with feta and zucchini and spinach and all kinds of greens and some fried eggs too. Another staple, scrambled eggs. I love Irish scrambled eggs. They're the creamiest scrambled eggs you'll ever have and I learned them since being here in Ireland and shared them on my channel and on my blog and they are beautiful and they've been a huge hit. If you want to be a little more indulgent, you could also make waffles for breakfast. You can make almond flour, coconut flour waffles that are low carb friendly and enjoy them with berries and whipped cream on top. There are also options for low carb breakfasts without eggs, such as a breakfast shake or smoothie, or even a chia pudding, or just enjoy your favorite breakfast meats and vegetables, but without any eggs. And for lunches, now it pays to be a little prepared and on the weekend do a bit of meal prep. And I've shared a few different ideas for some meal prep you can do on Sunday to see you through 
for a few days of the week such as this one with chicken legs and hard boiled eggs and some cauliflower too or you could make a tuna salad I love mine with avocado and sour cream and spinach really simple but beautiful as a filling lunch or a broccoli salad I've got a broccoli salad it's got a few ingredients some sour cream and cheese and it's just a lovely salad to let marinate through the day to enjoy for lunch. Now when it comes to between meals and you feel like a bit of a snack, you've got lots of options that are low carb friendly. I like to often keep a bowl full of hard boiled eggs in my fridge so I can either make deviled eggs or just enjoy a hard boiled egg as a snack on the go. And there's also lots of meaty options. You could get jerky, salami, biltong, any other meaty snack. Just read packaging carefully for sugars. That's really important. You could also enjoy vegetables, some cucumber sticks or celery, or some berries, a nice handful of berries, maybe with a bit of whipped cream or a bit of dark chocolate. Really, there's lots of snacks that you can enjoy. And then for dinner, there are so many delicious low carb dinners. I find dinner to be the easiest really of any meal because just skip the carbs. Don't have your pasta, your rice, your potatoes. Instead, just have a meal loaded. I find loading it with extra cheese or cauliflower makes a great alternative. You can make cauliflower rice or mash or roast it instead of roast potatoes. There's so many options to enjoy cauliflower instead of a carby substitute. There are so many ways to enjoy cauliflower instead of carbs and for the actual meals some of my favorites are my best ever chicken bake which is chicken cooked in a lovely tomatoey sauce topped with crispy cheese at the end and it's just absolutely a perfect low carb meal that the whole family enjoys another staple is irish corned beef and cabbage i learned this recipe from a local butcher and it's just so easy to make and it's such a wonderful dish to enjoy and you could have it with some cauliflower mash as well on the side and it's a perfectly rounded meal another option is having cabbage as noodles and making something like a tuna noodle casserole where you chop up cabbage cook it up with some tuna and a lovely creamy cheesy sauce and you've got a really yum low carb dinner and a couple more options are egg roll in a bowl beef mince cabbage again and some lovely sauces make a wonderful meal which I find I make a huge pan of it and I've got leftovers for days and it also packs up well to take as a lunch on the go and if you're after a veggie dinner my go-to is broccoli casserole broccoli with cream and sour cream and lovely cheesy crispy topping is just a perfect dinner when you're wanting to have a meat free low carb meal and I didn't forget about desserts I am an absolute sweet tooth fiend have to have a sweet at some point through my day and usually Usually that is either strawberries and cream or a hot chocolate but sometimes I might make a dessert as well and I've shared loads on my channel and my blog but my favorite and yours too the ones I get the most comments about are my chocolate cheesecake brownies which I adapted from an Nigella Lawson recipe and it's lovely and chocolatey and tastes like a cheesecake and it's low carb friendly and next a strawberry cheesecake mousse I love all my cheesecake themes strawberry cheesecake mousse mixed through some cream and cream cheese and strawberries and you've got a light and luscious strawberry dessert or chocolate mousse I've actually shared five chocolate mousse recipes my favorite though is with cream cheese also I love the cream cheese and chocolate and it's so easy and it's creamy and smooth chocolate perfection and finally, now I know this lemon cake looks a bit sophisticated and impressive and intimidating, but it's so easy. You whisk the ingredients together, bake them, and you've got a lemon cake, which is lovely and light and lemony and perfect if you like all kinds of lemon sweet treats. So there you go. That is the fairly lengthy video for today of lots of ideas for what you can eat on a low carb diet meal ideas recipes and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which has all the photos and recipes you need to make everything I talked about in this video and make sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos and leave a comment to let me know your favorite low carb meals so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye